Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. And we're gonna do a goodbye segment to some heavy hitters in the industry. Uh, Sidney Portier passed away. Didn't know he was sick. Of course, we know Betty White had passed away for about maybe a week or so now. And then I just heard Bob Saget from Full House passed away. And that was very unexpected as well. But, child, we can go on into it since he was the last one that I caught on my news feed. They said uh, from Fox 6 News in Milwaukee, comedian and actor Bob Saget, known for Full House, dead at age 65. Okay. According to that uh, media outlet, they said the actor and comedian Bob Saget passed away on Sunday at the age of 65. In this interview, he talks about Fox Show, The Masked Singer, um, the place he died was in Orlando, Florida. Uh, he was found dead in his hotel room on Sunday. The Orange County Sheriff's Office said in a statement earlier today, deputies were called to the Ritz-Carlton's Orlando Grandi Grandi Lakes for a call about an unresponsive man in a hotel room. The man was identified as Robert Saget and pronounced deceased on scene. Detectives found no signs of foul play or drug use in this case. Saget was well or best known for playing Danny Tanner in Full House. He also was the host of American's uh, most funniest videos. Okay. So I'm like, wooey, people are leaving this world. So I guess we'll have to talk about Sidney Portier now. Um, he um, passed away as well. Um, while the loss of Sidney Portier is sad and not known, anyone wanted to start the new year. Myers of the 94 year old can find solace in the fact that he lived a very full life. Not only was Portier a trailblazing actor and history maker with his Oscar win in 1964, but behind the scene or behind the cameras, he was a proud father of six girls, Beverly, Pamela, Sher Sherry, Gina, who passed in 2018, Anika and Sidney. The first four were from his first marriage to Juanita Hardy, which lasted from 1950 to 1965. The last pair came from his marriage to Joanna Shinkus, his wife, until the end of his life. Anika and Sidney, whom he was most seen with at events, have both had notable careers in Hollywood. Sidney is a well-known actress. Anika has done a lot of directing. So, um, yeah, it really didn't say, um, he, they really didn't say what he died of, so maybe they're going to do an autopsy, um, and let us know what was what, but right now, um, we're just going to wish and keep, uh, uh, uh them in our prayers. Uh, condolences to both Bob Saget and Sidney Poitier's family members. Okay, because they really didn't say what he died of. At least not uh, in Essence Magazine. They did an article right up on him, but they didn't specify. Uh, now, the last one we can talk about is a favorite of mine. <laughs> and I basically know her. I've seen her in other shows or whatnot. But where Betty White comes to my familiarity is with when she was a part of the Golden Girls. Okay, Blanche, Rose, Nylon, um, who was Betty White at the time, playing that character. And you had uh, Dorothy. And they were, and you had uh, Sophia, which was the mother of Dorothy. And they were just crazy. <laughs> They were crazy, child. But anyway, going in, talking about Betty White, they had her cause of death. Um, well, they said she passed away um, in, peacefully in her sleep. And her agent is, let me see. Uh, it says, uh, let me see. Do, do, do. Okay, White's agent and friend Jeff Widgets told People Magazine in a statement that the actress passed away peacefully in her sleep at her Brentwood home on New Year's Eve. 
So, I think she was going to be turning 100 this year in 2022. But, um, she didn't quite make it to her birthday. Uh, which would have made her 100 years old. So, she died in 99. Um, it says, shortly after White's death was confirmed, fans began to circulate a post on Twitter and Facebook with their intervented quote from the Mary Tyler Moore show and Golden Girls actress stating that she had received the COVID-19 booster shot on December 28th. Okay. Um, uh, I don't know if they were trying to say the COVID shot made her die or whatever. But people are saying her death was related to getting a booster shot three days earlier. But that's not true. She died of natural causes, which is toast the magazine. Her death should not be politically sized. That is not the life she lived. Even though Betty was about to be 100, I thought she would live forever. I did too, along with uh, Queen Elizabeth over there in Britain. But it just is what it is. Everybody has a time frame, okay? We just told people, I would miss her terribly, and so will the animal world that she loves so much. I don't think Betty ever feared passing because she always wanted to be with her most beloved husband, Alan London. Uh, she believed she would be with him again. Why well, said during an exclusive interview with the magazine that she was getting ready to celebrate her milestone birthday on January 17th and that she was so lucky to be in such good health and feel so good at her age. So there you go. She would have been 100 on the 17th and she was cut short of that. But hey, she definitely lived. From me looking on the outside, inside of her life, a very fulfilling life. She got to do what she loved, which was acting. I would definitely remember her and her Saint Off, or Saint Saint Off, Olive, or Saint Saint Off, um, uh, uh, testimonies or stories she used to give on the Golden Girls, because I was like, <laughs> I had to have Rose, I had to have Blanche, and I had to have Dorothy for. To bring both Blanche and Rose back to reality. And then I had to have Sophia. Which was Dorothy's mom. On the show. I had to have her for comedian. Uh, well. Co what do you call it? Comedian. Comedic. What do you call it? Um, well just comedy. I guess you should say. I had to have her for that. Uh, to get me to laugh. Because she thought all of them was crazy. But she loved each and every one of them. And she was. Uh very blessed to have the opportunity to live with them instead of being in an old nursing home behind in between uh sophia uh time out italian sicily stories you know telling us the picture this because she was going to give us a gem uh to find some wisdom what she was trying to tell us and he had rose and her saint awfully stories about the cows and all these other things and everybody's just looking and waiting for the point to be made and sometimes it just wasn't a point she was just rambling <laughs> and Dorothy and uh Blanche wanted to just kill her you know what I'm saying so yeah she definitely gave me some laughs I would definitely miss her being on that show uh that was just so 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 funny and like I said I didn't even know Sydney Portier was sick so that was a shot when I ran across the media feed and found out that he had passed. Uh, and then Bob Saget just came on my media f uh, feed saying he had passed. He had just did a stand-up comedy show in Orlando and felt pretty good. And then, like I said, we don't know what was the actual cause of his death. Maybe they'll do autopsy. Maybe they won't. But we just know he's not here on this plane of existence that we know. So, condolences go out to all the family and friends of Bob Saget, Betty White, and Sidney Poitier. They definitely left their legacy here on Earth through their films, through their artistry of acting, uh, through their sitcoms. And we will miss them dearly. Okay? But y'all get down in those comments and y'all let me know what did y'all like about Bob Saget. I'm sure y'all know him more so from Full House. If you're an oldie but goodie such as myself. And um, Betty White. Like I said I really knew her. And loved her on the Golden Girls. With her other three castmates. That are no longer on earth. As we know it as well. Um, 
but I know I think I don't know if it was the Murray Griffin show or the Mary Tyler Moore show she was being featured here uh, in this picture I can't remember and Sydney Poitier I remember him on I think it's look who's coming to dinner or look who's coming it was some show like that and that was really funny but hey uh, it was back there when people were being very racist at the time and still are now here in days here after all that time 21st century we're still dealing with that but it was just comedy it was just comedy and they did the best they can and I hear uh, she was a very big activist when it came to uh, working with black artists or treating black artists uh, or black people back then when it wasn't so popular to be black Betty White was uh, a real pioneer towards working with black people in the acting world and people that would like cater to her she had a lot of respect for them so I, I didn't know that at that time but um that was told to me and i read it somewhere so i was like well go ahead betty go ahead that's right love on all races creeds and colors uh because the only thing that is separating us is the color of our skin because everybody does bleed red um we breathe the same air we have the same body functions and we all should be treated equally no matter what race we are but that's all I had guys for this video. Uh, salute to all three of them. They definitely made me laugh. They inspired me through their charismatic acting abilities. Um, that's the one I was talking about. Look who's coming to dinner. That particular one. He was in love with a white woman. And she was raised by white parents that didn't see color. They just saw humanity and, and people in general. And that was that was really good. I think he, Sidney Porter, he played in a... Um, few other movies too with Bill Cosby um and I want to say another actor probably uh no nah, I think it was Bill Cosby so I was thinking Richard Pryor for some reason but yeah they gave us lots of love lots of laughs and they were true to their craft so that's all I have for this video guys very light-hearted but you know it's a different from the normal what I usually talk about I do have other things I can talk about. I'm just trying to introduce them when I do get a chance. But alright. I'll see y'all next video. Take care. Bye bye.